From boxing, kickboxing, MMA, and not bad knuckle, he is here for your cutting um, repairs. Stitch Duran, man, how's it going, buddy? Hey, it's good to see you, man. You brought a smile to my face, man. Always good to see you, my man. Um, this bad knuckle thing is taking off, and um, you know, cuts is apparent with the yes. no gloves. You're doing your thing in here, man. How do you like the sport? Oh, man, I love it, man. You know, that's why I'm here for the third time and, you know, working with Dave, Dave Feldman and uh, the whole group are A-class people and, you know, safety of the fighters is always primary and, and uh, I think we do a good job of taking care of the fighters. Um, did you come in thinking that there would be a lot of cuts and things like that? Because obviously that's, I mean... People bring you in to deal with cuts, and yes. did you think it would be as bad as it is? Cause I think every fight someone was cut. Yeah, of course. You know, there's you know, last time I always said there's like an 80 percent chance of guys getting cut. But you know, what makes these cuts different than the MMA cuts is is they're all like a half inch. You know, they're not major major cuts. You know, UFC they're down to the bone and all that. So uh, yeah, cuts are inevitable. You're going hand to hand and, and face to face, and uh, uh, but yeah, that's why they brought us in. I look at uh, callers post sometimes. I know you know your dealings with the UFC. Is, is it cringeworthy some of the things you see some of these cut men doing? Now, not to I knock them, but I know you see some things. I do. And as you talk about my daughter Carla. You know, my kids grew up in the game. Uh -huh. They understand, and they're watching TV, and and they send me text. Dad, did you see this guy that has a swab in his mouth? The guy has no gum or, or no gloves, and he's chewing gum, and the application he's doing, and you know, uh, there's a lot of cut men that. Uh, yeah, they just kind of do it, you know, but it takes nothing to be a cut man. All you need is a license, 50 bucks, and, and you're considered a professional cut man. Before I let you go, man, I know you've had a lot of memorable moments and, and fighters on HBO. To see them check out a boxer, man, that's a it's a tough blow after 45 years. Did you kind of see the writing on the wall, and what's your thoughts on that? Yeah, well, I did see the writing on the wall, but, you know, there's, there's everybody streamlining now. That's the big thing, and uh, HBO, yeah, to me, it was a big shock, you know, because they were just the dominant factor for such a long time. And, uh, you know, but the game goes on. You stay busy, man. How do you keep up with your schedule, bro? Man, I just, you know, I drink a lot of water. I take my time. I nap when I can and eat when I can. And, and then I explode when I have to. Keep rolling with the punches. Keep it's always a pleasure, my man. Uh, one love to you.